Hey you guys, and, um, I want to show this bit because I just found out um, I had turned my phone off right when I was using Wi-Fi and some other kind of data from my similar phone, my same phone. Um, that's my mistake, but anyways. So something prompted me to look up something, and it just popped it right in front of my face on my phone. So I looked it up, and it shows me in different locations. Now, it shows, because when I click, I, um, I want to remove the location. It's to relocate, but, but we'll see. And then I noticed it showed that I was in South Sacramento on floor 24 that I posted. Then it showed me across the street near my sister's house that's in Sacramento in a uh, retirement community in the, in the second house from you know as you're entering the gate so based on my further research that house was sold on March uh, 2023 so I'm looking at the property the street everything you know on the maps on Google Maps and I'm doing further research and I found out that it was still in the home. So it was XP Realty. I remind you, it's the same people who I went through with my mother's home. Now, these real estate agents and brokers and whoever they are, they haven't learned their lesson and it's time for me to take action for hacking my phone. And as far as I'm concerned, um, because where I was living with Highlands and um, there's a smart line in those apartments on that telephone pole the management has it the on-site IT person long story, I've said it once before so all these real estate agents and brokers were hacking my stuff, attorneys and shit like that, for what reason you would want me to do it to you would you, and if I would you guys would be up on it and file lawsuits back to back. If they feel I'm by myself and I have no support. But I'm gonna take action because this has been long overdue. Granted, um, you know, I have a list of all these real estate bait brokers agents who were hacking my phone, even during my mom's time when I was, you know, doing her house and stuff. And I honest and I honestly feel everybody was being dishonest. You know, I felt that way from the beginning, during, and after. And I believe, honestly, well, I don't want to say too much. But, um, yeah, that, I'm going to show you the picture. I'm going to upload everything. Um, the information I found. And that explains how when I go and look for places, and I believe, honestly, it has to do with Warren Smith as well. Because I never had this problem before, ever. And part of it, I believe now, based on my research, these real estate agents, they're probably contacting these people and saying, hey, don't rent to her, this, that, and the other. Or possibly uh, keeping tabs on me because they know what they did was fraudulent in my mom's home. That's just my opinion. So everybody was so secretive, no one was um, being forthcoming, dishonest, you know, I didn't say nothing, I was just observing, because I already know people are watching, I already know. They they think, oh, they're doing the right thing, they feel like they're, they're um, had no part in committing this fraud, but they are well aware, but there's a system I don't have access to. They all do. Attorneys, real estate, judges, all that. So this lady was on my phone. And whoever it is was in South Sacramento as well. Off of Florin and 24th Street. And they kept revisiting the street. And I want to say it's a gas station. I haven't been in South Sac like that in, oh shoot, maybe a year or two, three. So... I'm gonna drive by there probably so to come tomorrow. If not, and I believe that's the gas station, I believe. 
and there's an apartment complex on Mac Road that it showed me at. Well, you know, based on my phone. It wasn't actually me. It's somebody who's on my phone. And I believe it was like 5006 Mac Road or something like that. So I'll upload everything pretty soon.